Right, time's back out to book for the start of September. Did my first 50k at the start of the summer. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Hi there, John, Brant Valley Runner here, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the start of today's video. I'm not sure if I may play that better on mine than in reality, but it's just a bit of fun really. And uh, thanks so much to um, any new subscribers that have come aboard recently, and also to long term subscribers. I recently hit the uh, 50 subscriber mark, so yeah, that's great, thanks so much for subscribing to everybody. I know I've not been doing many videos recently, so it makes it extra um, special for me that people have been subscribing to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be about my upcoming races that I've got planned for the autumn of 2019. Now, I don't think it's massive spoiler to tell you that. I'm not doing the Tens Path Ultra 100k this year anymore. I deferred that race. And uh, the reason I've done that is because of the summer holidays. I um, had a good time with the family over the summer, being on holiday. And uh, also, um, had some good funny days out. But the longer the shorter it is, that with work as well, it means that I've not been able to get as much training as I would have liked. And so I decided that um, as the summer's gone on, that may be better to defer the race next year so I can have another go to earn and hopefully do myself justice. I did do the um, 50k ultra at the start of the summer, which uh, I've got a video on that as well, I'll link to that one above if you want to check it. I was happy with that and as I was going forward at the time I was thinking yeah I can move forward over the summer and get ready for the um, 100k, but as I say with the summer holidays and stuff that's not really been possible, um, so I had to change the plan. So what am I going to do this autumn? Well first up I've got the uh, Bedford Half Marathon coming up which is coming up next Sunday the 1st of September. Now I did this race last year, uh, it's the first time I did it and it's, yeah, it's a good race, um, quite scenic, it goes around Bedford Priory Park, an um, enjoyable route. I seem to remember there's quite a good support as well around in various parts of it. Uh, last year I did it in 218 and with um, lack of training this summer, I'd be happy with, uh, with similar results to be honest. And hopefully if the weather's okay, I'll be filming that for you. And so, with any luck, my next video will be the Bedford Half Marathon. After that, the next race I've got coming up is uh, the Windsor Half Marathon. Now this one's a bit of a special race for me. Uh, it was my first ever half marathon I did back in 2015. And I've done it every year since then. I did um, an R bit about whether to enter that race this year with the... Um, ultra planned but I did anyway so I would have been doing it whether I did the ultra or not. Each year I've done the race, I've improved my time and uh, last year I got a time of two hours and two minutes which I was pretty surprised about to be honest. Um, it's a personal best for me and as the course is really hilly I wasn't expecting that. But this year yeah I'm probably not expecting a PB on that course but just go and enjoy it really. Okay third up I've got the uh, Yorkshire Marathon and that's on the 20th of October. And uh, that's also a race I've done before, I've done that twice before, and the first time I did that, uh, it was actually my first marathon. So yeah, that's got a bit of a special place for me as well, that marathon. Uh, last time I did it, I did it in 4.51. The first time I did it, I think it was 5 hours and 2 minutes. And when I did it last time, the 4.51, which was 2 years ago, that was actually at the time of PB for me for marathon distance. Uh, since then, last year, I I beat that on um, my current PB for marathon is 4.39. So yeah, you never know, I might be able to um, better on that at the time, if I get some decent training in. I mean, my training is still going by the math method, and if I can get the volume of training in, I'm pretty sure I'll maybe able to hopefully get close to that, or maybe even beat it, who knows. But yeah, so that's uh, in October. It's a good race, that one. It's uh, got good support through York City Centre, you go out to the countries and then back out to uh, York for the finish at the uh, university. And I'm also thinking that I may also squeeze another race in in November, but we'll have to see how, what happens there. Um, I've not made a final decision on that yet, and when I do, I shall let you know about that. Okay, so those are my uh, race up coming up in autumn 2019. And uh, as I say, if the weather's okay for those races, hopefully I'll be able to do some. Uh, vlogging for you and show you what this race is all about and so if you like this video um, please give it a like 
and also why not consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. As I say, we've got some race vlogs coming up. I've used some more places to run video in the near future. I also plan to do a few reviews as time goes on uh, for a few products I've been using for quite a while now. I thought I could do some reviews. So yeah, um, why not subscribe? And if you want to check me out on social media, I'm most active on Instagram at the moment and I'll put a link for that in the description below. So yeah, go and check me out on Instagram if you want to. But that's it for now and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye now.